so many visiting dignitaries. Thank you for joining us this evening. I want to thank so many of my fellow UCLA deans who are here today. Thank you. UCLA is an extraordinary university, and I'm so proud and humble to have you as colleagues. Thank you. Thank you for being with us uh, tonight. I want to recognize our many distinguished faculty members present, and uh, of course, our brilliant students from Education and Information Studies who are here with us for this celebration. Thank you to the students. <laughs> Chancellor Block has thanked our generous corporate sponsors, HBO, Warner Brothers Entertainment, and Entravision. I also want to send our deepest thanks to our host committee uh, for this event. Their names are listed in the program for this evening. Thank you also to all our table sponsors for your generosity, for your support, for your advice, for your guidance. Today, we gather to celebrate UNESCO's 70th anniversary, and after uh, dinner, uh, we will hear from Mayor uh, Eric Garcetti for an official welcome and remarks about UNESCO and his welcome of Director General Madame Bokova. As the Chancellor has indicated, we're also celebrating the inauguration of the first ever, first ever University of California UNESCO Chair. The inaugural holder of the UCLA UNESCO Chair in Global Citizenship, Education, and Global Learning has been formally approved by University of California Janet Napolitano, UCLA Chancellor Jean Block, and the UCLA Academic Senate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to announce the appointment of Professor Carlos Alberto Torres, a noted global thinker, a scholar sans frontières, as the inaugural holder of the chair. Carlos, please stand up. Carlos is an academics academic, a distinguished professor of education at UCLA, an internationally recognized authority and prolific author. Dr. Torres has been working for the past decade on complex theoretical and conceptual problems encompassing human rights, pluralism, and citizenship in comparative perspective. Born in Argentina, Dr. Torres earned his PhD from Stanford and has become perhaps the leading and most recognized authority in the world on the interrelationships of economic, political, and cultural spheres that make education a site of permanent conflict and struggle worldwide. As UCLA UNESCO Chair in Global Citizenship Education and Global Learning, Dr. Torres will lead UCLA's partnership work with UNESCO as we focus together on the vital need to develop a new generation of global citizens who are strong and caring stewards of our ever more interconnected, miniaturized, and fragile planet. We are honored, proud, and delighted to be the site of the first UNESCO chair at the University of California system, and I congratulate Dr. Torres for this remarkable distinction. <clears throat> Education and schooling, as first imagined by the ancients, had the full flourishing of the child, what the Greeks call eudaimonia. In the 21st century, the children of the world cannot flourish 
in a planet, in an environment that is withering. As the children of the world stated in a declaration of principles, read at a historic gathering of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences in the Holy See, first, environmental education is not a privilege, but a right. Society, politics, economy, and culture are inseparable from the environment. And three, all species, including humans, are part of nature in a non-linear web of interdependence and interconnection. <laughs> Cooperation and mutual respect, what today we call global citizenship, are imperative for the survival of all species. That is why today we are delighted to announce a new UCLA Children's Environmental Education Initiative in partnership with the UCLA Institute of the Environment and Sustainability. Environmental education provides a compelling moral imperative that can mobilize children's agency and the search for solutions. By posing questions and using the method of inquiry as a pedagogical tool, the environment capitalizes on our children's curiosity to develop critical thinking skills. As we heard earlier, the environment nourishes their ethical intuition and fundamental innate sense of fairness. I will follow up privately with many of you who may be interested in becoming more involved in this important new UCLA partnership. Here to say a word about UCLA's leadership on the environment and the importance of educating children as citizens, as stewards of the environment, is Dr. Peter Caribia, director of the UCLA Institute of the Environment and Sustainability, and the former chief scientist at the Nature Conservancy. Peter, can you please join me for a brief uh, welcome.